Okay, so what's your name? My name is Ryan Walker. All right, now what's your story? Okay, so I'm from Sioux, Ontario, just on the other side of the bridge. And it was the early 2000s, and I was with uh, my cousin and his girlfriend. And we're Canadian, so we're coming back from her hockey game. And it was around late February to early March, and we get one of those days where it gets two or three degrees above freezing uh, during the day. So everything gets melts and kind of gets a little slushy. And as soon as the sun goes down, it freezes, and everything just becomes this really bad skating rink. So we were driving back from the hockey game. I should mention, I'm in a little Geo Metro. And I'm familiar with Geo Metro, the car sucks. Yeah, so like, it was my first brand new car was a oh, Geo Metro. Like these things, they're not, I don't know who designed them, they're not made to be on any winter roads at all. Um, they just they just slide. Like they, there's no stopping power to them whatsoever. So I'm driving down the road and it's very, very icy and up a fair ways this way is the stoplight and it just turned kind of red. And I'm driving like 30 kilometers under the speed limit. So I'm going like pretty slow because I know we're going downhill a little bit. So I very slightly just tap the brake to just start slowing myself down. And as soon as I hit the brake, we just, we just like feel like we just take off and we're sliding. So of course I panic, hit the brake even harder. And now we're just in a full slide and we're just going. And we start very slowly moving to the lane beside us. And there's another car up ahead. And so I kind of crank the wheel, trying to correct it and nothing. And I'm just hanging on the wheel saying, Please don't hit the car. Please don't hit the car. Please don't hit the car. And we're just very, very slowly making our way over. My cousin's in the shotgun beside me. He kind of looks at me, notices I'm saying, please don't hit the car. Please don't hit the car. And so he notices and he's going, oh shit. Puts his hand in the dashboard and he's going, shit, 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 shit. As we're slowly going and going and going. And then we slowly bump the car beside us. Now, it's one of the times it was the new fancy Saturn cars with deck resistant panels. So it gets zero damage, and we just kind of go boop, very slowly. And now my worst nightmare happens, and we start drifting into oncoming traffic. Oh, no. And I can see the light had turned green, and now cars are starting to come at me. And one thing you should know also about the Geo Metro is when we bought the car, my mom, I was just a teenager at the time, she was trying to find insurance for me. So she asked insurance uh, providers about the safety on the car. And the insurance told my mom that basically if I was ever in a head-on collision in a Geo Metro, you would not survive. So that's what I'm thinking about as I'm slowly now veering towards incoming traffic. And just something in my head, I don't know what it was, I don't know if I'm to call an angel or ghost or something. Something just told me, just let go of the wheel. So that's exactly what I did. And for whatever reason, at the very last second, the back end of my car swings a little bit more further, it hits the car again beside us, and they just stop. They stop on a dime because the car just came out of nowhere and they're blindsided and just hits them. My car then spins the other way, passes this car backwards. It continues to spin in front of us, in front of the car. So, like I said, we're in Sioux, Ontario. We have it's middle of winter. Normal, we have seven foot snow banks. The snow banks have just been removed. They they got so big that the city just removed them all. We managed to go up over a curb between a fire hydrant and a telephone pole. Still going backwards. We go across the lawn, we continue to spin, we somehow end up on a side street, perfectly parked the right way, on the edge of the road, and the car we just kind of hit just kind of pulls up behind us to see if we're okay. And all this while I let go of the wheel. So it's just something like, so it took over, I swear they defied the laws of physics, and just guided my car perfectly out of harm. And not to the side. Sounds like the ghost of one of the Duke boys had taken over control <laughs> of your car. So that's my story. I can't explain it. <laughs>